They are native New Mexicans, and they haven't been treated well for decades. But today, the Gila trout, one of the rarest trout in North America, are on their way back from the edge of extinction. And no one is prouder of this remarkable comeback than Jason Remstart. It's a great collaboration between uh, New Mexico Department of Game and Fish and the Fish and Wildlife Service and the Forest Service as well. And how big a success has this joint effort been? Just ask Stan Long. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are here at Willow Creek uh, stocking some 6 to 12 inch Gila trout. The Gila trout were uh, on the uh, endangered species list all the way back in the 1970s. And to be able to bring them back to this point where they can downlist them uh, from endangered to just threatened uh, is is a giant step in the uh, uh, in the recovery of all native fish out here in the west. The trout come from the fish hatchery at Mora and must be between two and three years old. The hatchery itself, uh, all the all the production in uh, hatchery tanks are indoors. It's a closed system. Willow Creek is one of the uh, one of the several streams that we have open to public fishing, and so this these fish are are raised specifically for this purpose, so we're able to raise enough fish for the recovery efforts, but we're also able to raise fish for the recreational stocking. And so, on a cold wintry day, the group sets out to return these natives home. Signs identify the area. The men move quickly to get their payload to the creek. In order to avoid any shock to the trout, the men lower the temperature in the tank from eight degrees to four degrees, using ice and water from the creek. It looks like a nice place to call home. Willow Creek, meet Gila Trout. There's a nice cold welcome awaiting you. Getting to the creek is not an easy job, but soon the fish are in their own habitat. Slow and steady does the job. Let's get a closer look at some of the latest residents of Willow Creek. It's pretty cold in here, but the trout don't seem to bind the frigid waters. And while a revitalized Gila Trout population is good news for New Mexicans, it's especially good news for trout fishermen. This gives them the opportunity to catch uh, Gila trout. And it's only probably one of two or three locations right now in the state where they are allowed to legally fish for an endangered trout species. So when's the best time to fish for these beauties? When the weather's nice, it is one of the most uh, beautiful trips you can take. The area is rich in fishing opportunities. Down in this south southwestern corner, uh, you can fish all the way from Rama Lake, Kamada Lake, uh, Glenwood Pond at the hatchery itself, uh, Bill Evans Lake, the Gila River, Lake Roberts, Bear Canyon, and we go as far down as Burn Lake in Las Cruces. These trout may be calling the creek home for the first time, but they carry with them an ancient heritage. These are still the old original species that was here uh, historically. Most people will look in Willow Creek and just see an opportunity to catch fish, but Jason sees much more. It's a great opportunity, I mean, to see these fish raised at the hatchery and see them go come back to the river and also be a part of some of the recovery efforts as well. So to see that whole full circle of uh, of recovery and collaboration is great. When the last of this batch are stocked, it's time to head home. And so, thanks to an all-out team effort, the Gila Trout, true natives of the land of enchantment, are home once again. Their numbers increasing to the delight of sportsmen and conservationists statewide.